all right? What? <laughs> Did you have a nice holiday? <laughs> Look at this! What? <laughs> I saved up a lot of money. <laughs> yeah! What year is it? 2011. It's a oh, Toyota yeah. engine one, so it won't break it down. It won't break down. <laughs> <laughs> well then, let's go for a drive. There's right. a technique to getting in, by the way, that you let your your right foot needs yeah. to go in first, no, and then I can't touch the, the top. No, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. I'll enjoy. Yeah, we will. will. Thank you. Bye. See ya. Bye. Yeah. <sighs> it's fun, isn't it? Wow. This is. <laughs> I am a big man in a small car. <laughs> I, I might have gone too far this time, I'm not going to lie. Um, <laughs> Are you recording? Yeah. I'll, I'll go backwards, but I can't see. It's fine, is there any Peugeot behind you? <laughs> Sorry. Right, uh, I'm going to just put the one foot in the footwell, because I don't think the other one will fit. Hey, you'll be fine. I'm wearing boots. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that wasn't the best idea. Well, I don't exactly have... Well, no, that's true. It's, uh, do you want the aircon on? I'm saying that. It's like being coughed on by an asthmatic dog. <laughs> hey, it's not that bad. <laughs> uh, this is, so, um, go on. What? <laughs> what, how, what, how, what? I want to ask, I want yeah. to ask how much, if I, if I may be so bold. A lot. A lot, okay, <laughs> fair enough. Um, um, I'll tell you. And I also want to know how much the insurance is. £690. What? Because I spoke to the woman in Wales for Admiral. Right. And um, they quoted me £1,100. That's still and I said, not no. ter terrible. And then I spent 45 minutes on the phone. And then it came out £690. I just tweaked a few things. That's like the same as my parents paid for, paid for a Land Rover Discovery. Yeah. I, I'm not quite uh, sure how it works. And they were in their late 40s. Yeah. But it's only 1.6. Oh, well. Same as me then. You yeah. Ford Focus. <laughs> but how, how many how many accidents do you think happen in these? Because there aren't any. Yeah, and I imagine if there are any accidents, they occur on, not on the public highway. Yeah. Oh, are you sure you could be that on, a Hyundai out? Yeah. I'm sure. I won't go quickly yet. <laughs> By the way, it's deafening. That's fine. <laughs> like when you when you're really on it, it is deafening. So it co sab has a straight through exhaust on it, so yes. I'm not I'm not entirely unused to. Well, and my housemate in uni made everything deafening, <laughs> okay. including his X5 with a diesel engine. Oh. Yeah, and not the good diesel because the V8 diesels they did have one. Yeah. Then no, it was the, it was a three liter. Why did he have an X5? Um. No? No. Well, he was a singer, so he didn't uh, carry anything. Oh, right, okay. Um, you've rather, rather blown off the, my, my plans to eventually buy a, a roadster with, with my with my cruise money. What roads? What uh, well, I was thinking of an MG. Nice. Because legend has it, yeah. the, the, I think it's the MG ZF or whatever it's called, yeah. the, the most modern one before they went out of business. Legend has it you can actually fit a guitar in his boots. Really? Because it's the boots the full width of the car rather than being narrow. Uh, um, that would be good. Yeah, so I think that's about the only... Because I, I don't think I could fit a, a bass and a bass amp in, inside no. of an MX-5. Uh, no, they're a bit awkward, those boots. Yeah. Um, well, it's, I mean, I, I could fit a bass in a passenger seat. Yes. It's about finding an amplifier that'll fit in the boot. Yes. Yeah, well, it's that's... the part of it that's like, I'm sure I could find an amplifier that'll fit in yeah. an MX-5 boot. Yeah, there'll be a little one, or a funny shaped one that'll fit somehow. Yeah. How, how are you finding the ride? It is uh, it's very community, communicative, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah. It's harsh. It's well, you know, but the seat's very well padded, so yeah, yeah. it's all right actually for for what it is. Um, As I said, try having broad shoulders. Yeah, I know. Yeah, we feel. I feel a lot closer to you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's just pray. Let's thank God it's not a Lancia Strata. Yeah, exactly. Then I would be accidentally. My leg. Yeah. When I changed gear, that's not that bad. Oh, are these the uh, the sun visors? Yes, they're great, aren't they? <laughs> it doesn't even come down to the bottom. No, I know. <laughs> it's brilliant. It's brilliant. I haven't taken the roof off yet, but I know how to do it. Is it? Does it take years? It takes considerable. It's a camping trip. 
right. it takes considerable uh, time. The reason you're not taking off yet is because you need a second man to help. Yes, it is. Right. <laughs> I assume it's very light though. Oh yeah, it's nothing. Like you, you flick these things, fold it all up, and then it fits in the boot, which it does have a boot. If you flick it while it's driving, does it do the need for speed? Not the need for speed. Jesus Christ. <laughs> it fast and furious. Uh, yes, it oh. probably would. <laughs> and then we can hijack a lorry. We, yeah, if you, if you want to. Well, uh, you know, have you got the, the there's no glove compartment. Uh, well, that is a glove compartment. Uh, yeah, <laughs> you fit a glove in there. Oh, give it well, a little is tickle? this for a mobile phone? Yeah. Oh, shall I give it a little tickle? Yeah, go on. Oh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's alright, isn't it? That's, that's pretty good for 1.6. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> it only weighs 852 kilograms or something like that. Yet. No, not a lot at all. Um, so I'm, but you know, I weigh quite a lot. So I'm ruining Colin Chapman's <laughs> philosophy here. Add lightness, simplify and add lightness. <laughs> it's okay. I'm quite simple. So. <laughs> oh, that'd be good if you did get an MG Roadster though. With MG Roadster and MX-5, I'm contemplating one or the other. Yeah. Definitely can't get away with an MR2 because number no, one, they don't have a boot, do they? they? Well, they have something about that big in uh. the front. Under the front hood, right. um, that could fit a wash bag in. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't say I don't like the way they look. No, I they're, don't. They're like the boxer, they're the same coming and going. Yes. Yes. Yeah. I don't. Yeah. I and don't like and on the rest 2000s, so they're too expensive. Yeah. For what they are. They're going up in value a lot. Well, you get one of these for that kind of money. Yeah. Excuse me. I like the colour. Thank you. That I was is... like, if I'm going to get one, I have to get it in the right. Yeah. It's like those people who get Lamborghinis in grey. Or red. Yeah. Green, yellow, orange, purple. purple. A purple Lamborghini is, well, it's a thing of majesty. <laughs> it's like, why would you buy a Jag if it wasn't blue or green? <laughs> yes, exactly. I know. Or if it's if it's the biggest Jag you can get, you get a black one. Yes. You can do that. But yeah. But then you look sort of like the Prime Minister. Well... That's not a brilliant thing to look like. No. Well, at least you're retiring soon. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> and then you'll have to have terrible hair. Does yeah. it, do they spin or is this it? Yeah, they do spin. I think. Yeah. Oh yeah. It just pops and bangs as well. When oh, you're on the on the down <laughs> Yeah. If you lift off, it does like pop 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 pop. pop. All standard from factory, no trickery going on here. I mean, I'm not sure there's much you could do to improve a Lotus out of the factory. <laughs> no. They're quite, they're quite yeah. well. Unless you could find some way of improving reliability, but the Toyota engine's pretty much sorted that. Exactly. See, they're clever, these Lotus people. They're very clever. Well, they promised they're going to make lots of cars now. Yeah, well, now they've got Chinese money to do it, haven't they? So. If you want to nip in Sam Turner's, we'll buy a wheelbarrow. <laughs> yeah. Get a bit ahead of this high and uh, I'll yeah, I'd, yeah, I don't want it to, you know, be up our bracket or anything. Uh, I'll, uh, I'll slow down a little bit. I just <laughs> don't want to. Don't yeah. want this. Just you wouldn't want to impede tomorrow on the public highway. Yeah, I just want to slow down again because second gear is my personal favourite. Yeah, my five years of 
let's talk practicality. How high is the load limb? Uh, it very. It's about up to where my just before my hip. Right. So it's a it's a kind of a little it, lid. It, it's just it's essentially just the engine compartment. Right. Is there um, a tray kind of this big for a pork pie or something? Yeah. Uh, I don't know about pork pie. Maybe uh, 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 pork and egg slice. Yeah, pork and egg slice. Nothing much more than that.
Yeah, that's that's a nice promise. You see, this setting expectations, that, that's what I like about I mean, would you want to take out, the, does it have traction control? Yes, it does. Okay. Oh, and you can turn it off. Yeah. That is one of three. And there's, what's that button? I've got no idea what that does, and I don't want to touch it in case it, like the wheels fall off or, or the roof comes the roof off. Comes on the bonnet, like the front bit. Yeah, bonnet opens. opens. Sorry, I have to interrupt. We're about to get absolutely splashed by a Kia Stonic. Oh, well, it's a, it's the part of the protector patrol. I think uh, they hand out free condoms. So it was a, also a Kia Sportage, my old man. You are? It's a Kia Sportage. No, oh, it's the rarest car no, in the world. It wasn't a Kia Sportage. It was. A hundred pounds, it wasn't. You have to catch up with it now. Well, I'm not paying a hundred pounds. I'm paying a hundred dollars. <laughs> yeah. So I got four hundred dollars if I walk out of there at home. Never mind. It's a Kia Sonic. I promise you. Actually, it does look quite small. <laughs> Don't test me! <laughs> I can't catch it up! I don't want to go too quickly! Jesus, he's shifting, isn't he? It really is! <laughs> I'm going to turn off the bar as well! Come on! <laughs> you don't want to lose! <laughs> to a Kia Stonic! <laughs> it is! I promise you it is! Yeah, that's not a sport I can't get much to be fair, I've not seen a Kia Stonic in the flesh yet, so... Because you'll have been out in America yeah, land. Yeah, been in America land, where the Ford Focus is a longer for some reason. <laughs> yeah, they have boots on the sedans, aren't they? Mm. The, I actually saw a Fiesta in America once. Was it a, a, a sedan? Yes. Yeah. I, I, well, if you go down into Mexico, you get a um, Vauxhall Corsa sedans. Might be the ugliest car to ever have existed. Oh, but the, I the, seen the first gen. You know the first gen box of Corsa? Yes, I do. The one that looks like a bubble that's from a like big one in a bat. Yes. Yeah, imagine that with like a boot hanging off the back of it. That's horrid. Oh, it's Is it much as a Chevrolet? Uh, it was either a Chevrolet or a um, Buick, I think. Ah, right, okay, yeah. Unless it, it could have been an Opal. It could have been an Opal. When I, when I went to Cozumel, Chevy's like a more premium brand in Mexico. Ah, right, okay. Because they still had Silverados and stuff. Because the um, like the insignia is a Buick, isn't it, out there? Yeah, that's a Buick. Well, not for very much longer, I imagine. No. I'm Seen as sure. uh, the what Buick do nowadays? Well, I think Buick have pretty much packed up shop, and then of course Opel, Vauxhall's now PSA. Well, of course, yeah. So they'll, they'll be developing a have new, you, you know, motorway cruiser, I assume. Have you seen the new Corsa? Yeah, it looks a bit generic. Yeah, that's what I thought. The, the old one, I mean, it's quite old, but it actually looks different to a lot of Super Minis. Yeah, that's um, why I think a lot of... I mean, I don't think there's much else to say about it, other than it looked different. No, but I think if, if you get it in 17-year-old person spec, like Black Wheels... Yeah, it looks quite good. It looks Sporty. It just looks hmm. like a car. Yeah, it's no, it's not going to be. It's pretty much in terms of the looks department. It's a Fiesta or a, a say a Beta, really. Yeah. Because the Polo's a bit grown up. Yeah, and I I had a couple and of the, Polos as um, the, and the the yeah, Fabias. Uh, yeah, but that's yeah. too old now. That needs renewing. Although it will, it probably it probably might look quite good actually. Hopefully it would, yeah. There's the Skoda Scala that's just coming out, which yes. is a Golf. Yes. Not a Skoda. Yeah, but it doesn't it, it's only coming out in a state length wheelbase, isn't it, or something weird? Oh is it? I don't know. I think it's longer than a golf or something, but not I, I think it's, but not uh, as yeah. long as a golf estate. No, yeah. It's it's like it's replacing the Rapid or whatever that Rapid you know, was it Rapid or Rapid? I think it was a Rapid because Rapid is Aston Martin. Oh yes, of it course. would have um, caused some issues. Uh, it's not. I wouldn't class the naming. Whoever came up with that? Yeah, a Skoda Rapid. It should have been called the Skoda Average. Yeah, the 
the Skoda Fabia Saloon would have been a better name. Because then we've got the Octavia. Sorry, one second, just interrupt.
Pass, the, the diesel hybrid and all that Well, stuff. the EQ stuff is what... And that's all coming up yeah. as well. So that's going to offset the emissions for the G-Class. They can get away with that, but... Yeah. Land Rover, or Jaguar Land Rover has the i base. Yeah, so but far. I was reading that they were about Spe that far away from making the next F-Type all electric. Well, the speculation is Jaguar was going to go electric. Yes. That's speculation. But the XJ is going to be electric. Definitely. Yeah. The next XJ. Well, I think uh, electricity might suit Jaguar quite well. Yes, quiet. Yeah, but quiet, cool. very fast. Yes. Space, pace and grace. Yes, absolutely. You get more room inside of yeah. the car. Certainly, I think the I-Pace is a, certainly a brilliant looking car. It's oh, so, definitely. So much better looking than every other electric car I could think of. Uh, yes, I would agree. The Teslas have a certain style, but I, I find their front end a bit weird. Now then, talking to Tesla and emissions and everything, did you see that Fiat, you know, Fiat Chrysler or all that? Yeah, car? FCA. Yeah. They are, are paying, or going to start paying, Tesla to appear on their books as emissions thing. Is that legal? Yeah. So, you know when all these new Euro 7 yeah. rules come in? Um, they won't have to do any electric cars because Tesla will do it all for them. Because I was reading an article, because it's 2022 or something like that when it comes in. Yeah. And they've said, a lot of people are saying that basically the model lineup is just going to change on all manufacturers, hmm. maybe month to month, week to week. Yeah, well, I, I heard I, just I, so they're not selling. Yeah, I, I too saw much CO2. speculation from uh, Harry of Harry's Garage. Yes, of um, he reckons that they'll just have a quota for like the big engine fast cars, and they'll have so many they can, they can sell in a year. Yeah, and if if you miss that point, then you're on next year's list. Right, so there'll oh, be like right, a rush. Okay. There'll be a rush for applications for most yeah. cars in January. Uh, right. Oh, I might have watched that. Yeah, and everyone will. I, it, it might have been a Twitter thread. Right. I can't remember. Um, I like Harry's garage. Yeah, it's good. Um, but yeah, so he reckons that it'd be like when people go to get a car with the brand newest plates. Yeah. But they'll be going to get a car with the big engine. But yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah, that does make sense. And then as the year goes on, they'll only keep selling the either super economical and then elect either hybrid or fully yeah. electric. Oh, that's quite weird, actually. And I think that could ha end up happening. But there's definitely there's a hunger in, in the buying public for electric vehicles. The, yeah, there is. The, the Kona and the whatever the other Kia Hyundai one is, they've both got waiting lists on them. And the, the Soul EV. And yeah, yeah. The Leaf's still popular. Yeah. Uh, that, have you seen that new Honda thing? The e the e urban EV. Yeah, it looked really good as a concept. It's it's, it's a, got worse. It's a little bit bulbous. They shouldn't. But the thing is, right? I was watching a video on it, and the designer was saying that they. Oh, I need to go this way. The designer was saying that they had already decided on what the new one was going to look like, and it was production ready. But they sent that as the concept to the Ooh. motor show. Why would you do that? To get some hype, and yeah, but it looks too good. Get some orders in before you unveil that it's actually a bit. I mean, yeah. it doesn't look bad. No. And I think once it's out of the slightly weird beige colour they keep presenting yeah, here, it might be a bit better. It needs to be white with a black roof. And, I don't know. Or maybe a bright colour would suit it. I don't know. I was thinking of a deep red with a black roof. Oh yes, that would. Look, that, yes, that would look nice. Oh, this is gonna ruin my spine. Is it, is it assisted steering? No, it's non power steering. Oh. <laughs> you, you, yeah. you are a manly man. Ideally, I want to be down there. Yeah, but I you can see it. Parking on a hill <laughs> or someone stealing it. You're not going to reverse it, Rob? No, I can't freaking do that. That'll do. Maybe. Yeah, I think I'll need all this space to get out. Yeah. Right. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is quite a riot. It's good, isn't it? Right, let's end that there. Thank you. Bye.